My name is Mike Grella. I'm from Mike Grella Plumbing and Heating based out of Milton, Mass. Today we're in Brookline, Massachusetts uh, to talk about a retrofit that we just completed. Um, this retrofit is in a 7,500 square foot house. It has five and a half baths. This house also has four bedrooms. When I originally c came to this house to do the service call, they had two indirect water heaters. They had a 50 gallon and they had a 40 gallon indirect water heater tied together. Uh, it seemed like both water heaters were not keep, keeping up with the hot water demand. When I uh, performed the service call at this house where I capped off the leaking indirect tank, it, it sparked a, a conversation of how we should go with the hot water. If we should replace the indirect tank, if we should go with tankless water heaters. We talked about the efficiency and uh, then I got talking about the Navian system, which is these Navians are NPE 240As, which means they have the built-in recirc pump. Uh, these these units each produce five gallons a minute. <clears throat> Together cascaded, they produce 10 gallons a minute at a 77 degree rise. The nice thing about these units is if you have 125 degree supply unit water, that's what you're going to get. You're not going to get a fluctuation. Uh, you're not going to get a firing up high, mixing low. Um, each one of these units has a flow control valve and no matter how much water you have opened up, you're going to get 125 degrees. So this is our master. This is our, uh, our helper unit. They're both cascaded together. Um, both these units have built-in recirc pumps. Um, they also have a built-in buffer tank. For this system, the house is already plumbed with the recirc line, so we're able to uh, tie the recirc line in and use the existing pumps. One of the big selling features uh, for this tankless water heating system was redundancy because you have 10 gallons a minute when both are running. If something does happen to one of these units and they break down, you still have another unit producing five gallons a minute. The tankless features and the redundancy of these two units sparked the boiler conversation, which we had an 86% cast iron boiler. So immediately what, what I, I pitched was a Navian NHB unit. The first thing I did is size the house for a heat load, and it was over the max of one unit, which is 138,000 BTUs. So we started talking about two units, uh, cascaded together the same way the water heaters are cascaded together. Same thing, we have common venting, common flues. Um, the great thing about these units is you have a 15 to 1 turndown ratio and when you cascade these two units together you have a 30 to 1 turndown ratio, which makes this system um, one of the highest efficient systems on the market. We also talked about redundancy. Um, if one of these units does happen to break down, the other unit will run and this one can be repaired and you can still pr produce, you know, 75% of the heating needs to this house w with one unit. Biggest, the biggest thing about this project, which uh, is probably the reason we were awarded this job, is we were able to provide this homeowner with um, not just a tankless heating and hot water option, but we were able to provide uh, redundancy. These two, b between these units, that was one of the biggest selling features, is the redundancy that if one unit does go down, we still have five gallons a minute on the, on the hot water side, and we still have one NHB 150 on the boiler side.